in other headlines, the law professor on trial for corruption in the Sex for Greats case says he paid for the so-called gifts he received from his former student, Ms. Doreen Ko. Tae Soon Hung is accused of taking gifts and sex from Ms. Ko in exchange for lifting her grades. In a dramatic turn of events, Tae Soon Hung charged that he had paid Ms. Doreen Ko for the gifts. These include a Mont Blanc pen and an expensive dinner at Garibaldi. Producing his checkbook entries, Tay said he had issued a check amounting to $2,500 in July 2010 before she left for an overseas study stint. This amount, he said, is slightly more than the value of the gifts mentioned in the first four charges. But Ms. Ko flatly rejected the claims, saying no such check was given to her. Tay then said the cheque was not encashed by Ms. Ko, so he paid her $2,500 in cash instead. Ms. Ko disagreed. To support his case, Tay asked the court to make an order for two tests to be conducted. The first, a forensic ink dating test. The other, a handwriting comparison analysis. But lead prosecutor Andre Jumaboy objected, saying Tay's application is little more than a smoke screen designed to distract the court from the impact of what Ms. Ko had said. He raised doubts, pointing out that the check entry was dated 2nd July 2010, while the dinner bill was dated 21st July. He said Tay is purporting to pay for a dinner even before it had taken place. Mr. Jumaboy argued that Ms. Ko's fatal responses have caused irreparable damage to Tay's case. The judge denied Tay's request after many barbs were traded. Later in the day, CPIB officer Peng Chen Chen also took to the stand as prosecution's second witness. She told the court that Ms. Ko had voluntarily given her statements to the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau. The court heard that Ms. Ko told Ms. Peng that she expected Tay to protect her and not give her a failing grade as he was her boyfriend. But during cross-examination, Tay pointed out that this was not likely as Ms. Ko's average grade at NUS was a B.